welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am only going to be eating sweet foods for the next 24 hours <laughs> It has been a minute since I started the video outside my favorite shop, which is Tesco. I am finally going to be doing another eating 24 hour video. I don't even know when the last time I did one of these was. It's been a while. I have done a lot of these on my channel. Everybody knows that. So coming up with an item to eat for 24 hours is quite hard, but I've never done a sweet or like a spicy type of food for 24 hours. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to head into Tesco and I am basically going to find all of the most chocolatey sweet type things that i can find and i'm gonna have to try and put some meals together over the next day and basically i'm just having a very very big cheat 24 hours i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started i am at the dessert section and first thing i found is this sticky toffee pudding this is my favorite dessert so of course we're gonna have to get one of these look how unreal this looks too the chocolate brownie dessert oh my god that's tempting so i guess we just have to put it in look at this cake i just found too and it's only three pounds how have i never known about this before this really is the video for me isn't it look at these as well i swear these are new because i've never seen these either i have never tried one of these before but maybe this video is the one to try it i'm gonna get a sticky toffee to be fair this is a cake for me hitting one million on tiktok everything else i have no explanation milkshake is definitely the way to go with this so i'm gonna get one big brownie one and then maybe a mars bar one too because the mars bar one is literally elite this is honestly the best thing i could find because instead of having a normal burger and chips for dinner i am actually gonna be having a gummy version i literally used to live off of these as a kid we were out of tesco all of my shopping is in the back and i am gonna quickly pop to starbucks because i haven't had one since it is reopened and we don't actually have a drive through one around here well we do it's like 20 minutes away but we have a walking one so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna grab i think i'm gonna get a cookies and cream frappuccino because i've been seeing my friend lydia get them all the time on instagram and it has made me crave it so bad and for this video i have a massive massive excuse to be able to go and get one i just come out of starbucks and i got a little bit excited because i went in there originally like i said to get the cookies and cream and then i saw that they've just brought out this new pink frappuccino and you get like fully pinked whipped cream on it and everything so it kind of be rude not to try it that is sweet if i've ever tried something oh my that is incredible i'm sweet to us it's almost as though they've blended strawberries and raspberries together then chucked in a bunch of sweets and then mix it with some ice cream and put it in a cup mm -hmm. well that is, that's just incredible and then this is the one i actually went in for this is the cookies and cream one oh my god they're like polar opposites because this one's so chocolatey and that one is so like sweet today is gonna be literally the best day ever like literally the best day you need to try this new pink one because this is like another level here we go it is time to get some lunch so i have got some buttermilk pancakes and some sugar waffles and then i've got some raspberries and strawberries and we're gonna make a little tower going on all glued together with nutella <laughs> Poet. we already have this in the cupboard look how big this jar of nutella is i just did the pancakes under the grill for four minutes and i just popped the waffles in the toaster and here is my lunch i'm not gonna lie my presentation skills we know aren't great but this does look really good let's give it a taste test buttermilk pancakes are so good the reason i didn't make my own was because i can never make them fluffy like they always just go flat as a pancake i thought pancake day was yesterday they're yummy though I feel slightly sick after all that. I'm not going to lie to you. That was quite a big and sickly lunch. So I'm going to give it an hour and then we can start on all of the snacks. It is snack time and I am going to be trying one of these dairy milk caramel cake slices. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong. I've never seen these in the shop before and dairy milk caramel is one of the best chocolate bars in the world so they come in the little two packs like they do like the mr kipling angel slices i'm not gonna be able to eat both because that lunch really really filled me up but i'm gonna give one a go it is really really nice but i'm not really getting the whole dairy milk caramel taste from it it almost just tastes like any other mr kipling chocolate style cake like obviously not the angel slices but like it's nice but i wouldn't say that it really tastes like dairy milk caramel 
I'll still eat it though. We have just left the house to come and pick Atticus up from school and we just popped in the McDonald's drive-thru so I can get a McFlurry because that's pretty much the only sweet thing that I can have from McDonald's today. However, I have the funniest story to tell you. We went to Tesco and we went to get out of the car and I went, Mum, the car's moving. She went, no, it's not. I went, Mum, the car is rolling and the car had fully rolled and she went, grab the car! And this brute force inside of me i honestly have no idea how i managed to do it held the entire car whilst mum went in to get the handbrake up and then oh, yeah. to top it off i looked to the left our mail lady from the royal mail who delivers all of our mail mum has lovely conversations with her is looking at us through the car going didn't even notice the car rolling. Didn't, Mum didn't even know it was rolling. The Royal Mail lady just grab the car. Grab the car. Like, <laughs> and I just grabbed the car like you could grab, you the, grab car. the car. And I managed to grab it and I was holding it. So holding it by the seat, weren't you? Holding it by the seat. We're waiting outside the school and I've got my McFlurry. I wanted a dairy milk one, but they don't actually do them because I think it's the limited menu. So instead, I got Malteser. This angle is absolutely amazing. This is my first McFlurry since McDonald's has reopened. It's a good day today. It is time for some dinner. So I genuinely had no idea I was going to be able to buy these from Tesco. My original plan for dinner was to do this massive like cupcake and donut platter, which I am still going to be doing. And then I went down the sweet aisle and I saw the last packet of these on the shelf. And it is the Gummy Zone Gummy Fast Food Mix. Obviously, I can't have burger and chips because that's not like sweet related. And I have got everything I'm going to need in here i got a bit excited and i also found the pack of burgers as well even though i'm pretty sure i get burgers in here but first of all we have got the fries so that is perfect we have got some hot dogs pizza slices i've got quite a few pizza slices in here i have got some cola bottles oh my god this is so fun more pizzas more cola bottles more hot dogs then item number one let's give these fries a little try how they're in the little packet and everything is so cute and they're lemon fries. So they are very, very sweet and sour. <laughs> there are my fries. And then I've also got just here the little pizzas. Oh my God, it's tiny. It's a little circular pizza. And then it's got four different slices, but it is like reliving my childhood. I used to love these pizzas. Although that one was a bit big. I do prefer the ones where you've got like the six slices do you know what i mean little cola bottle as well for my drink i actually do have a drink here but you know what i mean just playing along so yummy and then here is the hot dog here the little sausage with the mustard on and you've got the roll oh it's gonna um take the sausage out and i think i'm just gonna eat the sausage it all tastes the same like do you know what i mean it all has the same like a sweet taste i think if i ate the whole bag of these i'd be pretty pretty full up i also do have the burgers as well but i actually do want to do the big platter of cupcakes and donuts and everything so i am going to get a chopping board from downstairs and we're just going to put together this sweet platter because look at these i'd like to go all out for these videos you know like i was gonna buy just a pack of two cupcakes and then i saw these and i was like wow you're hard you do just have to go that extra mile for videos like this so i decided to get the heroes caramel crunchy and flake party cupcakes because i'm having a little party in my room tonight with all the sweet snacks let's get a crunchy one let's get a is that a flake one i can't even remember let's get one of these i'm gonna get the whole cake and fully put it on the thing because we will eat this in this household today so this really is a quick dinner option you know you've got no cooking involved very little mess i'd highly recommend i then bought some tesco ring donuts you know because we've got to save some money somewhere not gonna get crispy cream when they're three pound a piece here it is here's my dinner i'm actually gonna have my mars bar milkshake with this one i probably should get a knife to cut the cake with because quite frankly i cannot just bite into that cake however this looks so good i'm not gonna lie i would absolutely love some of the pasta that my mum is cooking downstairs i walked downstairs and she's doing like a full-on like spaghetti bolognese with the mint and the sauce and the mushrooms cheers everyone let's give the cupcake a go i'm not actually sure what this one is it's like crunchy actually it is indeed i was correct oh my god a little crunchy board on top i've got a tiktok in my head i'm pretty sure you guys know the sound as well and i cannot get it out for the life of me the other day on facetime byron would not stop saying your mouth is moving a lot like a rat pa -ya, pa -ya, pa -ya, pa shut it please and i'm thinking oh my gosh it's another meme and honestly they are just like literally tattooed into my brain at this point i don't know where the relevancy in that was but i'm just addicted to tiktok so yeah that's it really it looks like the purge you know when they're looking through the door and mr sanding is like i'm on you <laughs> oh my god i actually think i'm going literally insane 
unpopular opinion or controversial opinion incoming. Does anybody else think that cheap donuts actually like, really taste better than the really expensive ones? These donuts were 70p for four and I love Krispy Kreme donuts with all my heart. Like, hi, if you want to send me some, that'd be great. But they can also go up to three pounds. Whereas these are like, what? That works out at like 17, 18p each. And they're phenomenal. These taste like seaside donuts. If you've ever been to seaside, my personal favorite is either like Skegness, like Inga Mills or Hunstanton. I love them. I literally grew up there. The seaside donuts just hit you differently. I'm now going to sit and I'm going to enjoy my platter of food. My fingers are so sticky and I haven't even started to eat the cake yet. So I am going to go off. I'm going to enjoy this and then I will be back because we have got, I want to say we've got dessert, but we literally had dessert for dinner. Hello. Atticus is going to be helping me only eat sweet food for 24 hours. So I actually got him. What did I get Some you? Some cookies. Some cookies to decorate. Remember the NHS? Yeah. Talking of the virus, we've got some rainbow cookies. Oh yeah, you made a rainbow for the NHS, didn't you? And we put it in the window. Yeah, we did. So in maybe in a future video, we might show that. It's all good. Oh, I can smell them from here. Oh, they so nice. So lovely. Then I'm going to start one now. <gasps> They're delicious. Are they? So I'm not a really artist, but I've done my best. As long as you try your best, that's all that matters. Oh my God, this is hard. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> you concentration face. I'm a bit fed up with these guys, Tim. So I just help me. I have indeed. All these videos. Yeah. We do. I love them so much. Do you? Yeah. Our latest one is so funny. Do you know what I went? What? Can oh. you please edit that bit in? Which bit? When I went, what a ripper. <laughs> yeah, which put it in now. What a Right, it is a little bit later and I'm in the mood for some more food. So I have got this put in a mug and it's the sticky toffee one. It was like 89p and it says all you need to do is add milk and then pop it in the microwave for 50 seconds and you are going to have a cake. Now I have always heard about these. I've made an Oreo mug cake in my TikTok video but I've never tried one of the actual packet ones. So I'm excited to give this a go. I'm only going to use half the mixture because this is going to make quite a big cake and you're meant to do it in a jug. So the milk is in and then just going to give it a stir all around it smells really good actually here she is um she looks a little dry and a little small and quite flat but we don't judge we're gonna try it's not awful it's actually really good it tastes very much like a pancake actually like a pancake with golden syrup on it's also kind of like a slimy consistency but when it's in your mouth it's quite satisfying to eat i'm kind of rating this you know like not that i'd get it all the time because i think i'd rather just like have a cake and cut a slice off it instead of making it in a mug all the time but for 80p if you're in a rush it's definitely not awful it is a little bit later in the evening the exact time is 8 49 it doesn't get dark now until like half past 10 in my room so it kind of feels like me day tonight's snack choice is going to be these i've never tried them before they are the smarties buttons these are the white chocolate ones they also do milk chocolate but white chocolate is just it's just kind of elite these have been in the fridge too so they're really cold oh my god these are sick they're like not normal shaped buttons they're like a little bit thicker those are good mm -hmm. oh yeah this is hands down one of the best snacks I've had today. I am going to watch a movie and I will probably end up finishing the whole bag of these. So I will see you guys in the morning when we will get some breakfast. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day and I am about to get some breakfast. Now, I had no idea what to do for breakfast because obviously I had pancakes and waffles yesterday for lunch. I didn't want to repeat that. So I kind of thought, let's just get like an array or like a selection of chocolate flavored yogurts. Oh, and I also got Pop-Tarts as well. I was queuing to pay for all my stuff and I saw them on the shelf and I was like, can you just watch my trolley for a second? And I ran to the other aisle and I got some. These are the yogurts I got. I got some Rolo mousses. I got some Milky Bar yogurt. And then I also got one of these Dairy Milk Button ones. If you have not tried these chocolate yogurts from Cadbury's, you are missing out big time. I love the mini egg ones they bring around Easter, but I also just love like the basic button ones. It is taste test time. We are gonna go with this one first i don't know if i've ever had one of these before this is the question of the video what is your favorite chocolate do you prefer white chocolate milk chocolate dark chocolate like fruit and nut what do you prefer i always say that i prefer milk chocolate but i feel like i actually do prefer white chocolate when i properly think about it let's give it a go well it's very strong very thick i couldn't have too much of it because it's quite sickly 
I need some water, but I also do have this as well, which I am going to drink before the video is over. I've got my Tesco brownie flavoured milk, but right now I need water after that. Let's go with the next one. This is the Rolo Mousse. This is kind of fun. It's like the moussey consistency on the top, and then it's got like the Rolo y caramel bit at the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, popular opinion when i first put it in my mouth that tasted so good and then as i like went to swallow it it tasted like my shampoo and conditioner and now i have that analogy in my head you know what i mean i can't get that analogy out of my head like it genuinely tastes like shampoo and conditioner let's get some actual breakfast that i love i went through a phase where i would have these every single morning and they are unreal so after this breakfast i've got one big thing left to have which is a big hot fudge brownie and then i've pretty much completed the challenge because then it's lunchtime again so i can actually have some normal food i'm having the fattest salad you will ever see i don't even like lettuce i'm making myself eat lettuce i'm having tomatoes cucumber onions i might have a bit of beetroot in there pop tart is done some people do actually prefer to eat these cold but i way prefer them hot mm -hmm. cheers it is time for my final meal and this literally looks like a microwave meal but no it is a big sticky toffee pudding actually it is a microwave meal which is more of a microwave dessert i'm sat in the living room with my big tray of sticky toffee brownie or sticky toffee cake oh my god yum i feel like this challenge was just made for me you know this is actually where I am going to end this video because once I've had some more of this, the next meal I can have is actually going to be back to normal foods. Well, not normal foods, but you know what I mean. Food that is not sweet or chocolate. This is exactly like Marsai milkshake. Like exactly like it. And this was a big one was a pound. And I paid £1.35 for my little Marsai milkshake yesterday. What a rip -off. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Let me know what other food challenges or any other food videos you want me to take on. I know that mum and I are really, really keen on going to Krispy Kreme drive through and doing like a road trip over there. It's a good like 45 minute drive and just making a video out of that because that could be really, really fun. So let me know if you do want to see that. Other than that, I love you all so much and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah.